Yo, Elliot, non-job question. When deciding on your niche or your original message, what made you decide to become a strong man strength coach as opposed to other niches such as calisthenics coach, bodybuilding coach, CrossFit coach? I'm trying to find my path and I'm wondering how do you find, how'd you find your path when you got started? All trying, all tying back to the market message part of the equation. Um, so I can't do anything or speak about anything or offer anything that I am not. I am not a calisthenics guy. It's just, I'm just not, it's not, I'm not interested in it. It's not my gift, right? And it's usually the things that we're gifted in that are the things that we're interested in. I'm not gifted in, you know, doing the pummel horse or doing rings and stuff like that. Now I could do it. I could force myself to do it. Uh, I'd be going against the grain, right? Sometimes it's good to go against grain, but it's not my thing. Bodybuilding, I'm built like a bodybuilder. I can bodybuild. I can build muscle, but I just never got into it. It was actually a little too boring for me. I need like an athletic thing, right? CrossFit, CrossFit wasn't around when I first started. CrossFit came about about the time I started my business. So I was already, I already figured where I was going. And then it was like, oh, wow, this CrossFit thing is interesting. But then again, CrossFit doesn't fit my, my uh, unique gifts. CrossFit is a lot of endurance. CrossFit is a lot of density, right? Like do a hundred squats and a hundred lunges and 50 pull-ups. Ah, ah, I ain't doing that. I can lift and throw and drag heavy things. So when you ask me about my original message and becoming a strong man and strength coach, it's because that's what I am, right? Again, like this King Transformation program and the things that I talk to you guys about, the reason why it's what I do is because I'm like you. We are in the same boat. When I'm around young men or men that are on the same path with a similar mindset, with the same goals in life, which we seem to be, uh, I'm in my river. I can speak with you. I have insights for you. I'm excited about you. I'm excited about the things that we can talk about and relate to. Uh, I don't coach women. I see there are some men that coach women. Uh, maybe they have a woman's mind or something, but I don't, I, not that I can't relate to women. I relate to my wife and I have children and my mother, but in this way that I'm imparting something to enhance your life, I just feel more comfortable around men. Um, so my whole point here is that when it comes to me, I'm not saying this is the case for everybody, for me, integrity, and I'm not bragging when I say that it's almost kind of a, it's a double-edged sword. Integrity is number one for me. Integrity just means, uh, in integrated means it's one, I'm one thing, right? I can't be split. I can't be like, well, you know, I really like strong man, but I know everybody loves calisthenics. So it's a better market. I'm going to go into calisthenics. I simply can't do that. I don't know how to do that. I would lack if I did that. I have to be what I'm offering. And so I invite you to do the same thing. I, it's, it then becomes easy. It's easy for me to do the work that I do because I am the very thing that I'm offering, right? I'm a straw man, so you know what? Let's talk about straw man. And guess what? When I started Strength Camp, straw man wasn't a thing. I like to think that I was one of the people that popularized strongman. In fact, I know I am because nobody was doing it. It was something I discovered. It was very fringe at the time. And I was like, wow, this is not only fun to do for me. I'm gifted in this ability, but it's entertaining. So I created strength camp. I was like, hey, you know, people will be getting exercise and being entertained at the same time by what? Pushing my car, right? Pushing my van, flipping tires and dragging stuff, sandbags. It was like a fun new way to work out at a time when people were used to just going to the gym and bodybuilding and doing, uh, doing cardio on treadmills, right? I was like, no more cardio. You come to my gym. We're going to drag sleds. And people never saw anybody dragging sleds before. So when I made the videos, they were like, Whoa. So that is also a double-edged sword, right? Like, because I had to do that because it was who I am. And also I had a sense that in the future, people will see how beneficial that is. It's always bad to be the first one in, right? There's so many things I see happening right now in the world. I, I mean, one just came up with me the other day. I forgot what it was, but I'm usually first. It's just, it's kind of a curse to be first. 
I'm usually ahead of my time. I'm usually doing things that people think are weird and they're like, what the heck? What is this guy doing? That's so strange and novel and I would never do that, but maybe I would. Hmm. And then a couple years later, oh, my friends are doing that. My friend told me he did that. I'm going to do that. And then a couple years later, it's like everywhere. It's all the rage. And there are about at least 10 things in my life that I've, <laughs> that I've seen happen like that, right? That's just my fate. That's just, you know, where I am. Who God, who God made me to be, right? I'm, I kind of break the barrier and then people flood in. But usually when they flood in after the barrier has been broke, they forgot who broke the barrier. And I usually I forget to myself. Anyway, it's not about me. This is about you. This is about answering your question about market message and media. Market message and media. That's the triumvirate for building a good business. You got to know who your market is. You got to craft your message and you got to deliver it through media. For me, knowing who my market is, is as simple as knowing who I am. You and I are not too different, right? I, have, I don't know a lot of you guys personally, but when I read your questions or I see your posts and your updates and your breakthroughs, I'm like, these guys are just like me. You're excited by the same things. You have the same goals, the same ambitions, right? We don't have the same experiences, but we're all aiming in the same direction. We're all men living in this diabolical age that hates masculinity, right? So I can relate to you guys. You are me. I am you. So I don't have to think that much, right? What do I want to hear? Right. And really, that's what my message usually is. It's what I want to hear. <laughs> right. I'm just I'm just I'm just being me, knowing that there are going to be others that are interested in what I have to say, too. I can't be the only one. Sometimes I'm the first one. So it seems lonely. But then eventually, well, look at this. Right. Like even like the whole red pill thing, like it's kind of fringe. Right. And then I, I noticed it right when it was starting to catch some wind. And when I started speaking in terms of, you know, intersexual dynamics and, you know, and breaking a lot of the blue pill lies that we've been uh, that we've been chewing on for so many years. People were like, what is this? Why is Elliot talking about? It? And then now today I get emails all the time. Elliot, at first, I didn't know what the heck you were talking about. I didn't know what you were doing. I thought you were losing your mind. But now I see. Right. So as a coach, you kind of also want to be, you do want to be ahead of the curve a little bit, right? Because if you're not, if you're behind your clients or you're walking lockstep with your clients, your clients don't need you. But if you're ahead of the game a little bit, right? You're ahead of the game a little bit. You're a little, just a little bit further ahead. Even if it seems strange to people, they got to catch up with you. And when you have people that need to catch up with you or people that you can, let me put it this way, pull up or pull, pull along with you. Now you've got, you've got a, an actual service, right? I don't want to talk to you about stuff you already know or, or try to help you with things that you have no problem with. I want to get there. Uh, I want to get there ahead of time, figure it out, and then give you, give you my insight, give you my retrospective insights. So anyway, long way of saying um, that's how I figured out who my market and my message was, right? He says, I'm trying to find my path. I'm wondering how you found yours. And that's how it is all tying back. So hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.